Three, two, one. Boom. What's going on, guys? You know why we're here. I know why we're here. You can see from the description, we are here to talk about nutrition today. And if you're watching because you want to make a change to your body, you want to make a change to your health, then stay tuned because you can actually learn quite a lot from today. But I think first of all, let's talk about um, let's talk about needs. Yeah. Firstly, do you need to change your physique right now? Is it, you know, you have to think about is, are you doing this for health or are you doing it for vanity? And there's nothing wrong with doing it for vanity. That is probably like 80% of the reason that I train. Um, and you know, otherwise, why else would I train arms? Why else would I train um, abs as opposed to training core? Yeah. But if it starts to become obsessive, you need to work out whether this is actually healthy or not for yourself. Yeah, I want you to think about that. You know, because a lot of people do get issues with eating, so you have to be careful, all right? But anyway, that being said, let's crack on. 2020, what is the best diet? Now, <clears throat> you've got, this is just to name a few, you've got paleo, you've got um, vegan, you've got vegetarian, you've got pescatarian, you've got um, low carb, low fat, you've got all these shake diets that you do. Now, you've got Mediterranean diet. Um, you know, what's the best one to have? Let's just say you, you want to lose weight. That is a typical um, scenario. Most people do want to lose weight. Some people want to gain weight, of course, but everyone's got their own, de uh, everyone's got their own demons. But for the most part, people want to lose weight. So you're trying to lose weight now and you don't know what to do. You've got one mate over there saying, oh, you know, become vegan. It's healthy. Clarity. Blah, 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 blah. You have a mate over there saying, nah, mate, go keto, eat loads of meat, all this, that and the other. Um, what's the best one to do? You know, you're kind of stuck in a position because they both... They can both lose weight. They both lost weight. You know, they're both saying they feel good. Um, what do you do? Now, firstly, you, yourself, you are an individual. So you have to do whatever you're going to adhere to. Yeah. And, and that sounds so simple, um, but it's so true. And it's quite often overlooked. If you're not going to stick to it, don't start that diet. Yeah. If someone says, yo, man, become vegan. And you're thinking, fucking hell, I love my steak. I love my roast on a on a Sunday. Yeah, I know. I know there's like nut roast and all that sort of stuff, but I'm talking about just a proper roast. Roast, you know, you know, the proper roast I'm talking about. We're talking about stock in the gravy and all of that. Yeah. That kind of roast. This is why I couldn't become vegan. It's mad. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> If you ain't gonna stick to it, don't start it, yeah? Pick foods that you do like. Um, so yeah, what you're gonna do, you've got um, all these different diets. Now, now, let's look at it from this way. Why do diets work in the first place? Is it just because there's a mass, uh, uh, you know, the science means that just works and it aligns with your body? Um, or is it actually calories in versus calories out? Now, it's not really a question. It's me. I'm going to tell you it's just calories in versus calories out. So you could be vegan. If your daily maintenance is 2000 and you eat 2500 calories of tofu or, you know, anything, you're going to gain weight. Yeah. Same with keto. Same with with low carb, low fat. Same with a Mediterranean diet. You're gonna gain weight if you eat more than your daily maintenance. And that is that is like, that's a principle, that's a law. That's not my idea of, oh, I think this, that is a law. So firstly, you need to be following laws if you want to have facts. And then you've got methods and theories, which kind of, 
are based on laws, but it's own everyone's uh, it's someone else's understanding. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that being said, that's what they have in common. So if you're gonna do a diet, by all means, try low carb, try, you know, low fat, whatever. Um, but don't be fooled into thinking that, you know, it's just, it's just magic. You know, the fact is, if you're removing a whole macronutrient from your nutrition, from your day, chances are you're gonna lose weight. So, um, what would I do? I would have a balanced diet. I wouldn't remove carbs. I wouldn't remove fat. I'll balance it out and I'd have it in a good way. Um, I would structure protein. So I'm having protein between, uh, was it like between 1.5 and two grams per kg of body weight. That is what I tend to go for. Um, you know, it's that, that's kind of like a, a loosely based theory as well. That's not actually, there's no set rule of what you need. Again, because everyone's different. Your body might need more than mine or less than mine. So everybody's different. So yeah, so when I'm doing nutrition, that is what I do. I do about 1.5 to two grams of protein per kg of body fat, body weight, sorry, not body fat. Cool. Um, so yeah, that is it pretty much, short and sweet. What should you pick? Um, pick what you're gonna stick to. Don't, you, don't lie to yourself, be real to yourself. What do you like, what don't you like? My advice is eat foods that you like within moderation. Work out what your BMR is. That's your basal metallic rate. Your basal metallic rate is how many calories you need to stay the same. So if it says 2000 and you eat 1,900, then you're gonna lose weight. If you gain weight, if you wanna gain weight, then you increase it, yeah? Um, whether you increase it by 100, 200, 500, 700, that is entirely up to you. My recommendation though, um, is find your BMR and work around it. In the description, I will show you how to work out your BMR. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful. Get subscribed if you're not. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Peace.